subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is androsium androsium the male reproductive part now the reproductive part of the plant is the flower a flower consists of two accessory and two essential whorls the two accessory whorls are calyx and corolla calyx is made up of sepals while corolla is made up of petals now the two essential whorls are androsium that is the male reproductive part and gynosium that is the female reproductive part androsium is made up of stamens now these are the stamens stamens are modified microsporophylls they consists of anther that is the microsporangium and inside which the pollen are produced which are the microspores gynosium is made up of pistil or carpel which is a modified megasporophyll inside the ovary of the pistil ovules are formed which is the megasporangium and inside the megasporangium develops the megaspore and the stamens that is the modified microsporophyll consists of anthers joined to each other by a connective and a slender stalk called the filament the anthers that is the microsporangium they may be bilobed or dithecus anthers are seen as in case of mustard the anthers can be monothecus or single lobed as in case of hibiscus a unisexual flower having only stamens is referred as a staminate flower and while a sterile stamen is referred as a staminode now in this flower this is a normal stamen having filament and anther while this is the sterile stamen without any anther cohesion of stamens means attachment of stamens with each other polyandrous means the stamens are free free stamens are referred as polyandrous example lily mustard monadelphous in case of monadelphous condition the filaments unite to form one bundle while the anthers are free this is the staminal tube and these are the anthers that are free this is the characteristic of family malvesi that is the hibiscus family diadelphous condition means the filaments unite to form two bundles and the anthers are free 
This is the characteristic of family Fabaceae. That is the P family. In which 10 stamens are present. Filaments of 9 are united while 1 is free. Now these are the 9 filaments united while this is the 1 free stamen. Seen in case of family Fabaceae. Next, Polyadelphus. In this, the filaments unite to form many bundles while the anthers are free. Example of which is citrus. The filaments unite to form many bundles while the anthers are free. Syngenesious. Anthers united. Filaments are free. The anthers are united while the filaments are free. This is the characteristic of family Asteraceae. That is your sunflower family. And last, Synandrus means the complete stamens are united. That is the anther and the filament all are united. Stamens united, synandrous. Example, cucurbita. Adhesion of stamens means attachment of stamens to other parts of the flower. First is epipetalus means the stamens are attached to the petals. Stamens attach to petals. This is the characteristic of family Solanaceae, that is the potato or the brinjal family. Epiphyllus means stamens are attached to tepals. Flowers having a single accessory whorl that is referred as perianth whose individuals are known as tepals. So when the stamens are attached to tepals it is referred as epiphyllous condition and this is the characteristic of family Liliaceae, lily family. Gynandrous means the androsium or the stamens fused with the gynosium. Stamens fused with the pistil or carpal. This is seen in case of calotropis. Now this is these are the stamens that are fused with the gynosium. Next, attachment of filaments to anther. When the filaments are attached throughout the length of the anther, the filaments are attached throughout the length of the anther. They are referred as adnate, seen in case of magnolia. When the filaments are attached to the base of the anther, it is referred as basic fixed, seen in case of radish and mustard. When the filament are attached to the back of the anther, this is the back of the anther, it is referred as dorsifixed. Example, passiflora. And when to the tip of the filament, the anthers are attached, it is referred as versatile. Seen in case of grasses. Next, length of stamens. Didynamous condition. 2 plus 2. There are 4 stamens. 2 are long and 2 are short. The outer ones are smaller or shorter. 
while the inner ones are longer. This is the characteristic of family Brassicaceae. That is the mustard family. There are four stamens, two are long and two are short. Next is Tetradynamous. Tetra, four and di to six stamens. There are six stamens, four are long and two are short. These are the four inner long stamen while two outer short stamens. This is seen in case of salvia. So diadynamous, four stamens, two are long and two are short. Tetradynamous, six stamens, four inner long and two outer short. And when the stamens are of different lengths, it is referred as heterostamenous. Seen in case of cassia. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.